and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video please forgive my stuffy voice in this voiceover i'm recovering from a cold but i'm doing a lot better but today we're going to be transforming my office well less of a transformation and more of a much needed cleanup and also thrifting and buying some decor and i got a new piece of furniture so we're going to be like decorating that it's a lot of fun it's a big transformation from what you see in these clips this is really bad uh, my office gets really messy i'm a really messy person so i'm gonna hand it off now to some kind of like asmr-ish cleanup uh so i just hope you enjoy that with some music here you go So as you can probably tell, these clips are from a little while ago. I'm putting up this cloud shelf that you have seen in the background of my streams and videos for a while now. Um, but I recorded this footage when I did everything, when I put all of that stuff up and I still wanted to include it for you because I thought it was very satisfying. So I'm putting up this cloud shelf. I got this from Target, um, like the pillow fort section, like the kids section. I don't think they sell this specific one anymore, but I think they sell a different one, which I'll show you in a little bit in this video. But yeah, this is like my Animal Crossing shelf since it's in the background of my videos. I thought it would be very fitting. So I have plushies, you know, my little Froggy Crossing stuff, Froggy chair with a bread tag, all the good stuff that belongs in the back of a video. And I put up that little mushroom light just to add some light. So after putting away some of my Squishmallow cards, here I'm putting up a, another shelf. This is the other cloud shelf. Um, I believe they still sell this one at Target. It's also in the kids section. I like this one a lot. It's really cute. And I decided to put um, some of my smaller Hello Kitty and Sanrio plushies up here just because they're very colorful and cute and I like to look at them a lot. So I decided to put those right above my computer monitors. I mostly managed to fit all of the smaller ones that I have. So that was really nice. So cute. Then I was working on putting up some wall decor. This wall was like the biggest wall space I had left. Um, and I have been severely procrastinating putting up these frames and artwork and stuff so i decided to put those up but you guys have seen these in my videos for a little bit now so it's not anything new but i thought i would still include it i am not very good at hanging things i don't like to measure i don't like to check if things are level i just eyeball it 
and sometimes it works sometimes it works we will see later in the video an instance where it doesn't work but then i switched over to above my desk and i decided to put some more artwork up there i don't know if you guys have seen this because i don't think i've shown my computer desk area since i put all of this up like i haven't posted a picture or anything i don't know but that's how i was looking that's the progress so far i was loving it and now I would like to take a second to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Ugreen. This is the Ugreen 100 watt GAN power strip, which they were so kind to send to me. This is the nicest power strip that I have ever had. It has seven power ports and nice little cushion feet on the bottom. And this power strip can help you organize your cluttered cable, save space, and just make your workspace a little more tidy. This fast charging power strip can power your MacBook, iPhone, home appliances, and up to seven devices at the same time with three AC outlets outlets, three USB-C ports, and one USB-A port. And when I say fast charging, I mean fast charging. It is equipped with high-speed 100-watt USB-C ports, and you can charge your iPhone 13 to 60% in 30 minutes, or fully charge your MacBook Pro 16 in only 1.5 hours. So to get your own high-quality, fast-charging power strip, check out my link in the video description down below. Thank you so much again to Ugreen for sponsoring, and now let's get into the thrifting portion. So I hope you enjoyed watching me clean up the office and everything. Now we're going to head out to some thrift stores and try to see if I can find some stuff for the office. I'm going to be looking for plushies, figures, uh, cute jars, decorations, anything of that sort, anything that could like fit in the office. Really, I have a lot more space than I used to, so I kind of need to fill things up because I have a bunch of like empty shelves right now and it just looks a little bit sad. That's kind of what I'm going to be looking for, so let's head over to the thrift store and let's see what we find. This is fun. What is that? I can't tell. Okay, no, never mind. There's a Hello Kitty in here. So Goodwill was kind of a bust. I didn't really find anything. I was really counting on that Goodwill, but uh, I think I recorded it already. I just found this, which I could not pass up. I'll probably put it in my kitchen. It has like all these strawberries and cows and little chickens. And then I was just thinking to myself today that I like don't have any like cute belts. Like I have literally one belt and it's just a black belt and it's so plain and boring. So I found this one, which I thought was really cute because it has like, it's like purple, pinky, shimmery. And it's got these colorful little flower holes. I was like, oh, that's, that's very Raven. It's from Target. <laughs> the tag says it's from Target. It was only $2, so that's not bad. And also I met one of you guys in Goodwill out of all places. It was so funny. Thank you so much for saying hi. And that was great. It was so hilarious. We took a picture in like the toy aisle it was it was great so we're at another thrift store and i'm gonna head inside this one i'm not that hopeful that i'm gonna find anything in here because i was actually here the other day and i already found cute stuff in here and like i don't know how much they stocked between when i was last here so we'll see who knows so the music in this thrift store was so loud so i gotta do a voice over here honestly i didn't really have luck in here there were some cute things like the sort of like flower cup thingy i was like mm -hmm maybe almost but if the pink was a little brighter i would have gotten it some cute little kitties i always like seeing like kitty figurines i think that one was an ornament the white one was very cursed i love the colors on this you know hey but i just didn't know what it was i i didn't know what i could use that for so i left it there was a lot of cute like pink vases and stuff but i already have one little like vase that i'm gonna use and i just don't know what to put in it so i didn't want to get more because i didn't know what i was gonna do with them um and then this thing i think this goes in like your bathroom like a little like sort of like vanity thing storage and then this like kids speaker thing i don't know the colors were drawing me in i just i thought it was kind of cool the design and stuff like that this cute little cow figure was so cute and this like little welcome art palette thing cute little teddy bear uh cursed cow little thing and then i don't know what this is i don't know what it is it looks like a little bench right like mini bench I regret not buying it. It was so cute. Uh, Zuzu Pet, did anyone else have one of those? Because I did. The most cursed thing I've ever seen in a thrift store. So cursed, but hey, only $1. I love seeing cute little crock pots. I think they're so adorable. Like, I just want to buy them all. And then I love Campbell's soup things, but the children on this mug were a little creepy, so I did not get this. 
I did find a Webkins, but he was not cute enough for me to take home, but it was cool to find him. This little like frog dude, he was chilling. And then at home, I was building a piece of furniture that I had gotten for the office. We had some friends over and one of them brought their dog. So <laughs> the dog was like so attentive to me building this. He was like chilling with me and he was like, hey, what's going on? I was like, here you go. Here's the screwdriver. You can do this too, man. <laughs> But I, I had to build this in the living room because there's like so many pieces and it was so big. I could not have done this in my office. So yeah, that's why I was out there building it with him. But he was chilling. It was a fun time. It This piece of furniture did not take long to build at all. It was really nice, actually. It was pretty simple and straightforward. Unfortunately, I suppose I did not measure correctly because, uh, yeah, it was hitting the picture frame. So I had to fix that. It was a whole thing. Okay, I don't know what to do. This looks crooked, right? This is much more than this. But it says that it's level. That's level. I mean, it's slightly more to the right, but that's still pretty level, right? And I take this and I put it on here. That's level too. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Maybe these are crooked. So it makes it look more crooked. I think that looks a little bit better. But this looks crooked. I redid this so many times and I use the level every time, so I don't know what to do. I don't know. Well, if that bothers you, I'm sorry. I, I literally redid this like three times and I use the level and it still looks crooked on the bottom. I'm gonna put stuff in front of it so that we like, can't see it. I think that's my plan. <laughs> so that's how this is looking. I really like this. Now I struggled to find something that I was gonna put here because this under wall area felt so empty and on my videos you can see it. It's actually part of my background because my camera's like kind of slightly angled this way. I struggled for a long time to find something because I wanted something that was gonna be pretty for my background, but also kind of be like a little bit of storage. You know, I didn't want it to just be one flat table with like two legs, cause I thought that was gonna be really boring. And I didn't want it to be something super thick like dressers or anything because I don't want my little babies being covered, you know? Sadly from here and probably from the perspective of my camera, the very edge is gonna be like blocked. You're not gonna be able to see those. Like, you know, there's a little pug in the corner. So the ones that are in the corner will sadly probably not be able to be visible on my streams and videos but like that's not that big of a deal sorry for the lighting changes i don't know why my camera hates these freaking lights so i think that this was a really good piece i really looked for a long time to find something that i was really happy with and i thought this was also like funky and fun and you know it was yellow so it's cute i'm thinking maybe i should scooch it over just a little bit i mean it's fine like the squishmallows they're covered anyway so i'll just scooch it i think that looks a little bit better it's a little more even I, I'm so sorry if the unevenness of my wall hangings bothers you. I, I am so bad at it. I'm really sorry, but I, I did the best that I could. I'll probably end up putting some more up here. It'll just be like a collage wall eventually, so hopefully that'll help disguise the fact that I am very bad at hanging things, maybe. But anyway, let's clear this off and I'm gonna give this a good wipe because not only was I building it on the floor, I was building it on the floor and the doggy was everywhere, so. Okay, I went ahead and gave it a wipe and I have these two baskets that I'm gonna try to use for decoration purposes. In here, I have all of like my notebooks, like journals, any sort of like book type of thing that I have and they've just been shoved in here in my closet. And I thought they would be cuter, kind of like displayed on here. Oh my goodness, this lighting. And then this has been my box of decor that I just kind of like reach for. I've had this in here since we moved. Look at my little like vintage stickers. These I used to put my Squishville on, but I transferred to there. But I actually think I'm gonna move my Squishville back here and put them there. I didn't like the Squishville here on these thingies, but also my cat keeps stealing them. That's why they're always messy. So I kind of need to put them away from where he can get to them. So I'm thinking this hopefully will be a better solution. And I think I'm gonna put my Hello Kitty plushies there instead. I do have some extra frames. No, that's just one extra frame. I have this extra frame and then I have this Hello Kitty one that I thrifted. I actually, I don't know if I mentioned this in the video before, but I thrifted this at one of the thrift stores we went to earlier in this video, but just like the day before I started recording. And I forgot to film me finding that, but I did find that there. But this is just like random decor that we can start 
to use. So I guess let's get started. I do have a frog shelf. This is like my frog plushies that are like not squishmallows. They're in this thing to the side of my whole computer. So I don't really get to see them that much and you guys don't really get to see them that much. So I think I'm gonna move them here. It just makes more sense, you know, have my frog plushies on display in the background of my videos. And I got some cute ones. I got some webkins and stuff like that. So, oh, sorry. Okay, this is what I have so far. This guy, you can like slap him, turn him on and off changed colors so that'll be cute in the background of my videos this one lights up too but i just haven't charged it so that's where we're looking with the froggies i'm trying to decide if these two right here would be like too much like is that covering too much i don't really know i can't i can't really decide i just switched over a little bit i mean once they're filled up they'll look more eye-catching this gets a little bit covered but honestly it's fine and then we could have this guy here we could have this right in the middle <laughs> it looks so busted right now i'm gonna clean it up i can't get these stickers off with my nails right now so i'm gonna like have to take time to especially take those off i don't want to just rip them off and make it worse right now um and then i could do this and since it's like kind of clear it doesn't really feel like it's covering that too much kind of so i'll just like stick some really simple like flowers or something in it um yeah that's really where i'm at so far okay i have to be honest i just opened some of the squishville that i hadn't opened yet this is the dumbest one i've ever seen why is he shaped like that that doesn't match the shape <laughs> that <laughs> this, he, it's literally so stupid i'm sorry like it's cute but it's so stupid because they're supposed to be like little eggs. This is not a little egg shape. What the heck is going on? Okay, there's what they look like filled up. I know I have so many more, but I don't know where they go because like Pepper literally comes in here and steals them and they're just all over the house somewhere. So I know I have way more than this. They're just, I don't know, probably under the bed, scattered, hidden somewhere. I'm going to take these down. And I think instead we're gonna do Hello Kitty plushies. I have like big ones that I just don't know where to put. So like this one has been trapped in my closet. Poor thing, come here. I got her by the throat. Ah! <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't cover my YouTube button that much. No, that's fine. And then I have some poor neglected souls in here who also got banished. And then actually the rest of my Hello Kitty plushies and figures are up here. So I think we're gonna free up this cloud shelf, which is hilarious because I literally like don't have stuff to fill it up with. That's okay with me. That just means that I gotta buy more. Ooh. But now the question is, do I put Kurobi with Hello Kitty or with frogs? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I have a little Kurobi gumball dispenser over there. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna keep him here just for a pop of green because we got a lot of pink, just a little bit of blue, but we don't really have green, so I think he's gonna stay here. Here's how she's looking. I love it. The clutter, it's amazing. And then right underneath, I have my Sanrio Squishmallows, so kind of like, you know, transitions nicely. And then under here, I've been putting my Build-A-Bears, but I don't know. I'm thinking I need more room for the Sanrio Squishmallows because you can barely see the ones on the back and they've been spreading over here. So I'm thinking I might do the two shelves of Sanrio Squishmallows and then shove the Build-A-Bears over here. Or maybe even put them here if I can't find anything else to decorate with. And then sorry for the abrupt transition. I know I had more footage, but I think my phone died while I was filming and I lost all of it. But we're back at another thrift store, a different Goodwill. I went to a different Goodwill and I found this Crayola Build-A-Bear. I was like, he's so funny looking. I have to get him for my Build-A-Bear collection i found this like hair bro hair bro whatever gun gummy bear like container i was like okay that's fun cute quirky a pushing like treats container i just know that this was from the pushing like subscription culture fly box i did not get it though highly tempted to get this rubber ducky like tissue holder but i'm afraid to get glass and ceramic because my cats are all over my office cute candles i did pick those up i want this duck so bad i kind of want to go back for it it was so cute like i'm scared to get them but i'll put them like low on the floor um this really cute like zebra crock pot i just thought it was funny these cow mugs oh my god these cow mugs i snapped those bad boys up i could not believe that these were still on the shelves they are so funny 
I love them so much. I'll show you a better look at them later, but oh my god. A cute plate. I wanted to get it, but I didn't have any use for it. This cute, like, little hen. Again, cute, but like, eh. And then this thing with, like, a little ducky cutout. I have no idea what this is, but I was like, hmm, I'm gonna get it and try to paint it. So here is the haul. We have the Build-A-Bear, the paint thingy. I picked up this cork board. I'll talk about it in a sec. And then, like, my little decor stuff. I didn't notice at the thrift store, or maybe I broke it on the way home, but it has this hole on the bottom, so that was very unfortunate. I'm still gonna use it for display, but because it has the hole, it doesn't really, like, snap shut, so I can't, like, put things in it. So anyway, I decided to give everything a good clean you know before putting it all in my room and here are these cow mugs ah i am so freaking excited about these like i'm gonna be using them for decor in my room just because i love them so much but i just could not believe that i found them they're so cute peach came over and said hi by laying on my cork board but anyway the plan for the cork board i decided to paint the frame because i had been wanting a way to store my enamel pins and like my pins so i literally was trying to like look online for stuff that i could use for that and i could not find anything that i liked so then i saw this at the thrift store and i was like okay this is a sign for me to just diy it so i just decided to paint the frame pink because thankfully i had pink paint already in my little crafts drawer and i had a crappy paintbrush so i just went to town used some washi tape to protect the actual cork board it worked really really well i was very happy about that i did get some paint uh flex on there some white paint because i was painting the little like duck thing at the same time which was a miserable fail it was a flop it went really badly so i'll have to come back to that later because I got very discouraged from painting that. But I also added some little hot glue, like heart embellishment thingies. Um, I just had these sitting around in my craft drawer as well. So I decided to put them to good use. So yeah, that's how it came out. I thought it came out really nice. And then I did not have as many enamel pins as I thought, but here's all the ones that I have just on there. So I'm gonna have to buy some more now. Uh, I added some of the decor to my shelves. I got those cow mugs. I added the candles. I decided to just punch out the like plastic on the Hello Kitty frame because it was so nasty and grimy and I couldn't get the sticker off. I made this little collage of Peach and put that in the frame. <laughs> or not like a collage, but like, I don't know, just decorated those pictures. And now it is time for the grand final tour. I cleaned everything up. Oh, it's looking so good. It's looking so good. So here's just a general overview of the office. We got the kitties in here because they're always in here. When you walk in to the left is my Squishmallow shelf. This is from five below i asked to have it and it's not very filled up right now we got to get some more plushies to go in there we have like this lamp just with like my switch dock and supplies and stuff like that my desk i try to keep it pretty minimal because it gets cluttered very fast here is the space above my monitors looking cute still want to add more here you know i still want to add more to a lot of this room this is definitely not a final product but this is just like an update um over here i had to steal all the plushies that were in that piece of furniture to go places uh so it's empty right now pepper is um pepper's going in the uh yep oh we lost him we lost them. Here is how that piece of furniture is looking, nice and decorated. I added a couple more things that I was finding as I was cleaning my room, including that little like Hello Kitty drawer stuff, but oh my goodness, it was looking, it's just looking so good. I love it so much. This was, this was the perfect piece of furniture for me to buy. I'm so, so happy with it. So that's how it's looking. Pepper has already jumped up on it once, so yeah, thanks Pepper. Here's how my Squishmallow shelves are looking. Not much has changed, or maybe it has, I don't know. Um, my cats mess these up so much, so they're a little bit messy, uh, so don't mind some of them being out of place. I don't recommend the mushroom light, that's from Five Below. It's already broken, that's why it's not on. But here's how the Hello Kitty little section is doing. Again, Pepper jumps up here, so the plushies and stuff, they get moved around. But underneath is my Sanrio Squishmallows and then all of my Build-A-Bears, so cute. Here's Miss Peach. She loves laying on the Hello Kitty rug. Both of them do, really. Um, but yeah, here is the other Squishmallow shelves. They're looking good. I did reorganize the blue one just a little bit because I got some risers to put on them. My closet is over here. My closet is a disaster. This is where the mess actually lives. <laughs> Since it's not out in my actual office space, it's there. And then I just have these drawers there for like storage. There's a little bit of a mess on top, but 
it's fine, you know, it has to go somewhere. So yeah, that's what that's looking like. That side of the room is kind of boring. Um, it doesn't really have much going on because there's like two doors together, but the rest of the office is nice and cluttered and full of things. So yeah, that's how it's looking so far. I'm very happy with everything that we did, all the thrift things that we found. I am so, so happy with everything. Like this is healing my inner child so much and it's just perfect. It's perfect. So again, always a work in progress where we'll be adding to it as the days go by. But this is me and Miss Peachy signing off. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.